So I'm very excited to announce that for the first year after Windows 10 is available, we will be making available a free upgrade to Windows 10 to all devices running Windows 8.1. And we will also be making available a free upgrade to Windows 10 to all devices running Windows Phone 8.1. And last but not least, we will be making available a free upgrade to all of our customers still running Windows 7. And Continuum is about enabling a two-in-one device like this. You'll see I've got a bunch of windows open in various positions on the screen. Uh, I can move those around, use my mouse and keyboard. But when I remove the mouse and keyboard, you'll see we get a little pop-up here. Do you want to enter tablet mode? I'll choose that, and now my windows are full screen. And I can use this in a very natural way like a tablet. I can left swipe in to get task switching and then switch between full screen apps. If I touch the start button there, you'll see it's now automatically the full screen start menu, which I can use touch gestures to navigate around. And then, when I'm done using it like a tablet, I snap the keyboard back in, I get a prompt, I can exit tablet mode, and now I'm right back to where I was. And the whole point is, a device like this elegantly transforms from one mode to another. Cortana, we're excited to welcome you to the PC. Hey, Cortana. Hey, Joe. What have you been up to lately? Well, this morning I set a reminder for you the Cortana homepage shows up, and you'll see helpful things that she's providing to you proactively. You can see here she's tracking a flight that my wife is going to be on tonight. Here's some stock information, sports news. Obviously, I'm interested in news about the Super Bowl, and so on, and so on, and so on. This is a Lumia 1520 running a recent build of Windows 10. And I'm going to show you First, I'm going to focus just on the core experience and give you a sense of how it aligns with the PC, how it'll be a great companion to the PC. So let me unlock. And the first thing you'll notice, the start experience is quite familiar to people who've been using Windows Phone in the past. But if you look there, you can see in the background, I've got a full bleed customized background image, a nice personalization feature that a lot of our users have been asking for. I can now use the Review tab that I use all the time on the PC to move from change to change, accept a change, reject a change, add comments, read the comments, do my collaboration while I'm on the go. And with a device like this, you get a nearly no compromises experience in terms of completeness, fidelity, and richness as you're trying to create documents or collaborate with people on documents. We think this will be a great benefit to everybody trying to be productive on their phones. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to a code name, Project Spartan, our new web browsing experience for Windows 10. It fits in with the design language of Windows 10, and you can see the focus is on the content on the page. I'm going to switch into my reading mode right here, and you'll see we discoverably make available a standardized format way for you to read stuff on the web. And you can personalize this to your liking. The third thing that we tried to do was to give you a personal assistant. So we're building Cortana right into Spartan. I'm here to announce that with Windows 10, we will enable streaming of Xbox One games to any Windows 10 PC or tablet in your home later this year. This is an 84-inch 4K display with integrated compute. It has built-in sensors that actually detected me when I came to the screen. It has built-in cameras, speakers, mics, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC. It's got it all. Now, as Lorraine finishes building the first leg of the quadcopter, she's going to have to create three more. And notice how easy it is for her to mirror and then copy it. OK, let's get that bright yellow again. There we go for this piece. I'm getting a good uh, Area 51 vibe. This is a 3D print we made earlier of Lorraine's creation and Lorraine's quadcopter. This was made entirely in Hollow Studio. Mm -hmm. 